What's up guys, Apple Fanatic, and I am back to help you install Ice Cream Sandwich on your Samsung Fascinate. This should work on most Galaxy S devices, however this tutorial will be specific to the Samsung Fascinate with all the information for the Samsung Fascinate in the description below, along with the files you're going to need to download. In order to do this, you're going to need Odin, which we're going to be using on our computer. You're going to need a Windows 7 or Windows Vista computer. You're going to need these programs right here. Uh, files, rather, will be in the description along with your Samsung mobile USB drivers. Also in the description, we're going to move over to this folder now. And all of these you're going to also need. They will also be in the description. And we are going to be installing, if you can see, the CM Fascinate MD OTA and Build 12 onto our device, which will be giving us ice cream sandwich. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first step is going to be restoring your device to stock. So if you have to back up anything, make sure you transfer over to your SD card because you will be losing all your information on your phone itself. Um, the first step into transferring it over, or the first step into returning it to stock, is going to be using Odin. And, what, and how we're going to do that is we're going to be putting our Samsung Fascinate in it to download mode. It's very simple to do. You're going to go ahead and remove the battery. Remove the back cover first, obviously. Plug your device into your computer through the micro USB, making sure at this time you have everything you need transferred over to your SD card, including the program, including the files on that you will download. And the ones you're going to need to transfer over are going to be all the zips. So. All the ones you see here, link will be in the description for these along with instructions transfer over to your zip full um, your SD card in your Samsung Fascinate. Alright, so in order to put this into download mode, you're going to very simply hold down the volume rocker, on the hold down the volume rocker um, in the down position. You will get a downloading sign with an Android scooping up some triangles and if you've done it correctly in Odin version 1.85 you should be getting that. The next step is going to be going over to your PIP and selecting Atlas version 2.2 double click that and going down to PDA and make sure you select PDA. If you select phone you have the potential to really mess up your Samsung Fascinate. Go ahead and select PDA and you're going to want to select the .md5 file it's going to be the biggest one you download. It's going to be about 450 megabytes. And what this is, it is the stock uh, ROM that ships um, with Samsung Fascinates and updates. So you're going to be basically back on Verizon Wireless's stock ROM. Going to go ahead and double click that. And again, make sure you have PDA selected. And we're going to hit start. And it's going to give you a little checklist of what it's doing. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done because it's just going to flash everything over. And you should be getting a little progress bar. Now I want to do warn you, if something does happen, you, you lose power or your cable comes unplugged, don't worry. You can just go ahead and reflash it um, through the same instructions and you shouldn't have any issues. So I'll be back when it, it is done flashing everything over to the device. Once it has finished uh, flashing everything over, you should get a message in Odin saying pass and then below will be the time it took. The next step is going to be actually, we're going to hit reset in Odin. We're going to once again put our device into download mode, volume rocker down. And we're going to go down to PDA, make sure you select PDA again. And we are going to go to Clockwork Mod 4, fixed for CM7, double tap that, and hit start. And it's going to flash over the custom ROM, I mean the custom recovery. Alright, so the next step is going to be unplugging your phone. Come on. Sorry guys. And we are going to go ahead and turn our phone on. And the first boot should boot into the clockwork recovery. We're going to go ahead and not click any, not do anything other than reboot system now and you're going to select that by the on off switch or the power button on the side. So I'll come back once my phone has rebooted and I've set everything up. 
Okay, so once your phone has booted up, you're going to want to just go ahead and turn it off. You're going to go turn it off with the power button on the side. And now we're going to put it into recovery. So we're going to hold down the volume up, volume down, and the um, power button. And this is called a three finger boot. And this is the only time we will be doing a three finger boot from now on until you get rid of this RAM, ROM because it does not support three finger boot, this Cyanogen, this Clockwork mod rather. So we're going to do a three finger boot. All right, now some people go ahead and they wipe everything. I found that it works best if you don't wipe anything. You go down to install zip from SD card. <clears throat> Choose zip from SD. Find wherever you sent everything or saved everything on your SD. So mine is SD. And we go to super user. So select that super user. Go ahead and just install it. And we're going to go ahead and choose zip from SD again. Go down to the build. Install it. And it's going to go through a boot sequence. And as you can see, we now have this Android. All right, so we have a reboot. Sorry, Samsung. Now as you can see we have ice cream sandwich running on our device so we're going to go down to system settings just to show you system oops scroll down to about phone and as you can see Android version 4.4 now the next step is going to be installing the uh, Google apps now we're going to go ahead and hold down the power button and you're going to want to select reboot and from now on you're going to have to go into recovery this way every time hit OK reboot into recovery And as you can see, we now have a new clockwork mod. And we're going to go down to install zip from SD card. Select that. Go to choose zip from SD. I don't know if you can see that. It's top one. Go down to where you've saved all your files. And we're going to select gaps. And you can see right there. Gaps ICS. 20120317 signed you're going to select that select yes oops choose zip i selected no yes and it is going to go ahead and copy over the new gaps or google apps and this should take anywhere between 10 and a minute 10 seconds and a minute Alright, so as you can see it is done. Now we're going to hit back and reboot system. Alright, so now we have the lock screen. We go ahead and slide to unlock. And I'm not going to activate the phone, so I'm just going to hit the home button. But as you can see now, we have Google applications. Give it a second to load. 
And at the bottom, as you can see, we have the Play Store and whatnot. All right, so to install the kernel, we have to reboot into Clockwork again. Reboot, recovery, okay. And I hate to say it, but if you accidentally reboot with the uh, three finger method, you might have to do Odin and redo the whole process all over again. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't messed up yet, but I've heard from a couple people that if you do a three finger boot and you're planning to install more custom things, you're going to have to redo it through Odin. So now we're going to go down to install zip. Choose zip from SD. And find the file. And the file will be devil13. So the top one, you can see that devil13. We're going to select it. Install. Installing update. Okay, it's done. And we're going to hit back. Go back. And we're going to reboot the system one last time. Alright, so the phone has rebooted. And to show you that we are in fact running on the kernel now, we're going to go to system settings. Scroll all the way down to the bottom about phone. And as you can see, the kernel is now that really long one. And just to show you what we can do with it, we go to performance, go to processor, and now we can go to the max frequency, and it will give us the ability to run 1400 megahertz. And we'll go ahead, and now we're running at a 1400 megahertz speed. So guys, that's pretty much it. That's how you install Ice Cream Sandwich onto your device. This was build 12. They're going to be releasing new builds. Um, I think in order to up uh, upgrade, all you got to do is upgrade through clockwork mod download it into SD card and upgrade through clockwork mod if you have any questions uh, send me a write, uh, write a comment below or send me a PM but for Apple fanatic this is well me saying peace and I hope you enjoyed the video rate comment and subscribe